in an Asian parent's household, they will only ask you two things. One, to always take your shoes off when you enter the home. And two, to always bring home a great report card. Sometimes I wish they asked us how our days went or why I understand hip hop more than I do my own traditions. But just like rap lyrics, I would never get over the smell of my father's kitchen. The way they both punch line themselves into my nose and ears, you would think that I'm resilient. On the other hand, my parents were born in the belly of the beast, fighting the struggles of survival when they had nothing to eat. No, I wasn't born into similar struggles. I just grew up on a different street. There goes that duality, huh? There goes a society expecting Asian fathers to learn English by our mothers putting them down for not teaching us enough of our native tongue. The only time I really bond with either of them anyways is through our broken conversations. They're usually more highs, buys, and okays that every time they call, the more I hear the disconnect in their voices. It must be that bad reception at Asian households where Asian struggles are more important than black oppression where two similar narratives have been reconstructed to fit on a spectrum. When our mixed friends come over, I wonder if our parents cater to the Asian side of them more than the black. If one side comes out more than the other, like sun or moon, I wonder if my parents know that the harder the streets get, the more I miss my friends in the summer, and the more of them that die, the more I want to open casket my household to them all. Instead of hanging obituaries on the wall, I want to open my household to be a sanctuary where I hope you come home every single night to take your shoes off. And the only judgment of your character is dependent on how well you treat others. The thing we call struggle, it's all a matter of perspective, but pain is pain. Pain is reality. Pain cannot be scaled on this black and yellow road that we walk. It be slave ship and honor killing at the same time. The only problem is we be walking in opposite directions, as if this is what they want. For heaven to be the only way up, for us to send home more angels to the skies to shine a little bit wider, white hoods want to divide us and now the whole world is on fire in this household called America. It ain't nothing but four walls and a roof if we keep denying each other our truths. So why the hell is Peter Lee Aang glorified for killing an unarmed black man? Why are cops only crooked when they kill Asian people? As broken as our English is, my people, it's time that we stop being so silent for Akai. Trayvon, Mike, Eric, Tamir, Philando, Jordan. It's time that we speak up. Uh -huh.